Okay, everybody. How you doing out there? It is Mr. Bookman, and I will be reading Birds on Wishbone Street by Susanna Del Rizzo. Please enjoy. Birds on Wishbone Street. Welcome to Wishbone Street. Friends like you and me, from near or from far away, we are all neighbors. We know it could be hard to move someplace new. New homes, new people, new something. My dad came here from Ireland when he was young. He carried his pet bird in a Hollow old radio. True story. That bird's little leg band sits next to my favorite by a Blue Jays trail feather. Does the new kid have stories from far away too? Every day, me and my brother, Omari, meet me at our spot. The beach under Mabel, or the bench un under Mabel. Mabel is the biggest maple tree in our Wishbone Street Our kit. If we timed it right, Miss Fre Freda and Miss Francisca drop off fresh churros or canela yum. Miss Francisca always says. Boo Yang Guy You're No Frag Go Lint My Little Strawberries Our Parquet is awesome for birds and watching Eptic. Snow fort buildings and treasure findings. Just last week we found two cardinal feathers and a robin's egg shell. I dropped off some welcome gifts for the new kid. Everyone Needs mittens, hot chocolate, and, and a feather on Wishbone Street. Does he like Charles, birds, and snow forts too? Do I wave, go say hi, ask to try his cool binoculars? My head is a jumbo of words, all sm smunged up together. But suddenly, I'm too shy to say anything out loud. My bird friends 
fill my awkward silence with their cheery bird songs. Yak, 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 yak. T-O-E, T-O-E, tapa, tapa, tap. Then the teeniest treasures float down, 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 snowflakes. Hi, I say. I'm Mar Marion, but you could call me Mo. The new kid offers me an acorn. I am Sammy in a blink. Snowflake melt on our tongues. When we get cold, Sammy invites me over for hot chocolate. In his room, Sammy shows me the bird's drawings he's been unpacking. Wow, Sammy, I gasp. These are amazing. Sammy smiles shyly. Thank you for the feather, he says, opening a battered shoebox. My gift Nestles there with other feathers and keepsakes. My treasure, Sammy explained, closing the lid gently all the way from Syria. You must be sad about leaving home, I say, but we have so many birds here too, you'll, you'll see. Back outside, I squished two mitten bowls of snow together. Squishy! Yes, I shout. It's packing snow. We make a flock of bird, snowbirds under ma maple and take turns spotting real ones with binoculars. Bluebird, two awi, two awi, woodpecker. Tap a tap a tap. Red bustard nut hatch. Yak, 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 yak. Soon the fall snow falls harder and faster, a flurry of winter white. Ah, oh, first snow, says Miss Freda. Thou is small, size Miss Francisco. In the morning, we rush up and over to the fresh snow banks. Snow fork. Mel yells and we all start rolling snowballs toward our spot. Oh no! We find we find more than just packing snow under maple. A female carner lays cold and stunned in the snow. What do we do? Asks Omari. Sammy stands tall. I, we need a box and a blanket fast. I find my favorite blanket. Sammy finds a box. His box is Syrian treasure. Miss Freda drives us all the way to the vet. Your cardinal will just be fine with some warmth and rest, the vet tells us.
I can take care of her, Sammy announced. I had pigeons in Syria, so we could take her home to Sammy's house. I helped Sammy set up the birdcage with seed and water. My dad grew up with pet birds too. I tell him, how many pigeons did you have? Lots, Sammy replies. Sipping our, sipping our cardinal into her perch up on a high rooftop, my best friend. I plopped down on his bed. Ouch! A teeny toy soldier, Sammy keepsakes, are scattered everywhere. I discover coins, multiple colored feathers, chunks of br bricks, and a bird leg bands too. Y your collection is incredible, I whisper. Sammy shares stories about the wild birds he met at a refugee camp. He sifts through the keepsakes, ah, and picks up a photo. Can we make little baskets for the birds, asked Sammy. See, my uncle taught me to wave. We call these roaming rooster pockets. I reply, nice. We can make suit feathers too. Me and Mari brings bird seeds, corn, cornmeal, and uh, peanut butter. Miss Francisca and Miss Freda melt the suit and seed over making balls of, and spoons. I bring some flour seeds, cookie cutters, yellow, uh, whittled twigs and yarn. We each add a yellow twig to our collection to remember this day. Everyone helps hung our feathers and roosting pockets. Sammy cuddles the cardinal between his hands. I think we would like it here very much, he tells her. New friends, new treats, new homes, fresh start for Sammy and our neighborhood birds. We count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Fly. We all neighbors we are all neighbors on Wishbone Street. Well, how many of you have saved a bird? And let me know in the comment box with a thumbs up if you have saved a bird before. Just curious if you have saved a bird. Well, everybody... I hope all of you enjoyed this book reading here, and if you did, can you go thumbs up on it? Hit that thumbs up button. Can you do that? When you do that, it will bring people here to my channel so they can check me out. Also, if you're new, and you came along this book reading, and you're into stuff like this, hey, can you hit the subscribe button down below, and subscribe to my channel, and check out my other book readings here I got? 
I got plenty of them, so feel free to check them out. Also, hit that notification bell. Whenever I upload a book reading, you will be notified about it. But until my next book reading, they call me Mr. Bookman. And this book reading is over. Have a fantastic one, everybody. And take care. And thank you for watching.